Hey, I wanted to do um, a review or a quick run through of um, the Stack Amp. It is a. What is this thing not focusing? There we go. I guess that's better. So, um, this is a Gustard G U S T A R D, and it's an A20H. Now, it is a fully balanced DAC amp, and it is, um, I would say, right now, currently my favorite DAC amp, and, and I have a few. So this is, um, I'll run you through the buttons on the front. So we've got our on off power, obviously. We've got a display screen, um, which I'll run through later, uh, and the controls for it, right? Then we simply have a uh, quarter inch and then a uh, four pin XLR balanced output and a volume. And the volume knob will work with some of the controls here when you're adjusting some of the um, filters and whatnot. So. Okay, so what do we got? This thing's not light, by the way, in case uh, you haven't figured that out from my grunting and groaning. Uh, and that's because it is, it's a solidly built product. It's really well built. And it's also balanced, right? So going into it, or sorry, coming out of it, we have RCA or XLR, depending on how you want it. Um, I, I'm currently using XLR out to um, monitors. Then over here, we've got our inputs. So we've got, USB, uh, HDMI, or 2S, optical, uh, coaxial, AES, and then you have the ability over here to adjust uh, your voltage, 110 or 220, and then power supply, right? That's, that's it. So I'm going to plug this in and then run you through the screens on the front. So on the front panel of the unit, I powered it up. Um, and so I'll show you how I access that. So normally, um, this is your display and it tells you you've got USB in, which we have right now. Uh, I've got a tablet hooked up, uh, with an OTG cable. Uh, it tells us, um, what the tablet is, uh, engaged to play. And in this case, it's engaged to play a DSD natively on this. And it's a 2.82, um, megahertz, uh, DSD. Got the volume set down to zero. So now if I want to go into my settings, I click on, yeah, come on, don't give me a hard time. So I click on that. And right now, so I've got separate PS, PCM and DSD filters. That's nice. Because, so a lot of people may not even use their filters. And depending on what I'm doing, I can't even hear the difference. Fair enough. Um, but in certain, certain circumstances, when I've got um, everything tweaked, you know, there's the old saying of garbage in, garbage out, which is basically saying that you're only as good as the weakest component in the link. So if I don't have uh, really high quality headphones, or if I don't have a really high quality source or so on, I can't hear the difference really. It's, it's really hard to hear the difference. Everything in the chain has to be um, in alignment. And, and then, you know, the, the filters I find make, make a difference. Now, so I've got separate uh, PCM and DSD filters, and, you know, there's umpteen different ones of, of each one. You know, so um, for PCM, we've got slow, we've got super slow. So I, I'm controlling these with the volume knob over here, by the way. That's how, that's how you adjust it, right? So um, sharp, short, slow, low D short, short, sharp, <laughs> you know, go on and on and on. So... Go back to slow. We'll go down one to DSD filters. And again, we've got just two options there, right? And so then we can go down to gain and we have high and low, right? We're set to high. I think it's because I was uh, listening to a uh, set of ZMF Blackwoods on this, uh, which are, you know, built around the TRP50, the Fostec TRP50, uh, uh, drivers in them um pre-mode on or off so how, how you know whether i want to have it any output out of here or or turn it off and, and we're going straight out um phase inverters so we can we can invert the phase um so you know that enable or disabled right 
And that is, um, sometimes it makes a difference, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but it's, it's a unique feature to have on, on, a, on a DAC amp. Uh, brightness is exactly what it is, exactly what it says it is, and it's set to five, right? So it's giving me grief here. There we go. We're back in. So we're set up. We're set up with a DSD, and that that display will change. Um, depending, I'm gonna I'm gonna change it here. Um, I'm gonna get my tablet to turn on. So we're going to play something else. So now we're playing a, a PCM 44.1 kilohertz file, right? And we'll go down a bit further here and we'll click on. So now we switched over. We're playing, playing a 24 bit 96. And now we're playing a 2.8. Uh, a DSD, a 2.82 DSD. And it is um, really, really a nice amp. So DAC amp, I should say. It, um, it's the balanced part I like. It's a beast, by the way. It's it's not light. It is heavy because it's basically two DACs, <laughs> two amps. Now it runs, I think what one of the reasons why I like it so much is that it runs the um, AK, um, I think it's 4497 EQ chips. And, and I've always liked all of their chips and products. Um, you know, for whatever reason, I've never had a problem with them. They're always velvety smooth. They're always fantastic sounding. And, and this says dual, all right? And this will play, um, this will drive pretty much anything, right? Um, now the volume knob, is a little clicky as you can hear it. it it clicks up each step sorry i had to pause there because as it was showing the volume knob and how it, it it is 60 steps but as it was turning it up the music was starting to play out of the uh open back headphones that were hooked up to it so we, we have 60 volume steps there and we top it and that's it not all that fond of the clicking i, I like the feel of the clicks i don't like the noise of the clicks but that's fine Minor problem. Um, they were on sale off and on. Um, I bought this through Shenzhen Audio. Um, and they're good. They, um, you know, you don't know when you're you're buying from something like that um, uh, what you're getting into. Um, it arrived, geez, I was shocked. It, it arrived like in six or seven or ten days. I can't remember. I bought a couple things from them. And it's always the same thing. You know, there it is. Uh, you know, usually you're expecting this stuff to be five weeks. Nope. Um, knock on the door. Um, probably a week to 10 days at most. I think it was even less, maybe. Um, and there it was. And not a problem with it. Works flawlessly. Um, that's the other thing. Um, you know, I bought other products like uh, Toppings. Uh, DX7S, I think it is. And I had a hell of a time getting it to work with the drivers. Um, and it works now. Uh, I'm not, I'm not bashing it. it. It works now, but, but not with a little bit of frustration on my part. And, um, you know, part of that with drive, the problem with drivers and, and I use drivers, but the problem with drivers and I'd like to f figure out a way around it is it's the interface between, um, your laptop and, or your computer, my laptop in my case and my system. And it can be glitchy sometimes. And it is, you know, you, you want to install and reinstall the drivers, and, and it, it can be frustrating, very frustrating. But um, I have not had a problem with this one. So certain products I have problems with drivers, and other products I don't have problems with drivers. Uh, go figure. And all the manufacturers will say, well, that's not our problem. That's the PC that's not meshing well with us. So anyway, um, if you're ever thinking about one of these, I highly recommend them. Um, and I wouldn't uh, shy away from ordering through uh, Shenzhen Audio at all. Uh, I mean, I was nervous about it when I first bought a product there. But I've bought uh, three or four products. Now, I've never had a problem with one, so I can't comment on that. Um, but I, I can comment and say that, um, you know, um, I've, I'm, I've been good. All the products have been great. 
I had a little concern about one product and they were very responsive and, and, and it, it turned out not to be a problem, but they responded. I'll say that much for them. So, um, good start. A20H. You start A20H. Um, I would highly recommend it. You know, it, it would definitely get a thumbs up for me. Um, it is it is worthwhile. Great product. Um, I don't know what you'd have to uh, spend to get something better. Honestly, um, I'd have to hear it and and see. And 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 you know, at some point, it's diminishing returns. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you do, or if you did, uh, subscribe and hit hit like.